everyone this is parvati here from paros craftology today we'll be learning how to create amazing backgrounds using crafting stencils and some color blending techniques we'll also be doing some interesting tips and tricks to add more interest to your mixed media projects so let's get started this is the stencil i'm intending to use and some chiplets that we'll be using this is a simple mixed media project that i'm trying to create here for uh, beginners and some advanced techniques uh, for people who have been doing mixed media from quite some time too so i was completely blown away by this uh, stencil design that was recently launched by craft read i thought it could create amazing backgrounds for my next media project look at that design amazing right now i wanted to go a bit out of the traditional mixed media project by just using a simple base so to add more interest i'm using an acetate sheet here and adding some texture using some texture paste uh, the texture paste i'm using here is light paste from finnair so randomly got some design on my acetate sheet and while the paste was still wet i added some embossing powder to it tap off the excess and then heat emboss Now let's get to coloring our background. I'm using the sponge dabbing technique here, uh, and I have chosen two different colors from Crafty Chalk Pens. Um, I thought they go perfectly with each other. The chalk pen shades that I'm using here are. Uh, blended sapphire and opulent olive now let's get the blending done blending always gets done better especially on backgrounds using sponge dabbers so get a tinge of your different shades and just smoothly blend them out ensure that there are no harsh edges and this can be achieved easily using sponge dabbers now let's get to our composition now while doing a mixed media composition especially for beginners one thing to uh, keep in mind is that you should always have some kind of alignment there should be a flow to your project it should not be like all over the canvas so the kind of layout that i am trying to do here is a vertical layout you will see me doing it on one side it can either flow on one side uh, or in the center or on your right or it can be a horizontal arrangement it all depends on you but try to have a flow for your project and uh, ensure that it's not just like uh, spread across or something like that and mixed media for me at least it is uh, about layering it is about uh, 
it's not about showing every single component that you are using completely some of the components would be hidden and that's completely okay that actually create some curiosity to your viewers on what has been created how the layers have been created etc so for this particular project i am using uh, some clay embellishments from molds and uh, some chipboard elements some mdf elements etc thought goes perfectly with my composition this honeycomb chip plate here that i am using is again from craft rate it's a beautiful design it comes in a pack of four different small small chip plates and all four designs are completely adorable go about with your own imagination your own composition and place the elements wherever you think they best fit it's all about trial and error trust me and now to add more interest i am adding some art stones here art pebbles actually most of the times it's these tiny elements that actually combines your project and adds more interest to your project the art pebbles that i'm using here is again from finnabear you can um, very well buy some normal cabochons instead of this or create your own um, art pebbles using heat gun I and mean, just place drops of your heat gun over a surface let it dry and they kind of look like art pebbles so that's some trick for you if you don't have art pebbles now once my composition was done i am now adding colors and i'm using the same colors that i used for the background now the reason why i painted my background first is because once the composition is done many a times it is hard to reach your uh, base so i didn't want it to look white or uh, the mdf color that we had and uh, you can always you know color each and every element separately that actually uh, ensures that there are no uh, you know um, white space or anything like that but as i wanted the blending to be uh, random and uh, for it to you know stand out separately i uh, did my composition first and then i am just blending these two beautiful colors together okay one more thing i forgot to mention is that you can always prime your entire composition first and then add your colors uh, i didn't do that step here because i'm using chalk pens chalk pens themselves act as primer now that our composition is done and the coloring is done um i am adding some metallic waxes in gold kind of shade this actually helps 
to highlight the details of your molds and the designs that you have used and it helps to make it pop out better and you know uh, show the different layers Now don't forget about the acetate sheet that we had uh, created and I've added a small sentiment here. I thought Thanksgiving is around the corner so why not uh, do a thankful uh, sentiment. And finally to give it last finishing touch I cut out the excess of the acetate and left just the heat embossed stencil part and here's a close-up look for you and this was the completed project hope you guys enjoyed watching this till 